Good morning, saints. You know I'm lucky because I trust my pastor. I trust his judgment. I trust his leadership. I trust his word about the word. Now, unless you've received your doctrine and theology, y'all need to hush and listen. For it's the theologians of today that are partially to blame for this god-awful mess we're in right now. Pastors getting fired for believing in a biblical cosmology? Pastors being removed for billboarding a statement of truth from the Word of God about what is and isn't an admonishment in his eyes? How about this? Bruce Jenner is a man and the earth is flat. Lord have mercy on us all. Now listen. Bold and bombastic believers in the Bible will tell you, don't yoke yourself to those who don't put their faith in the Lord our God Almighty. 2 Corinthians 6.14 says this, Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? Amen to that. Getting tired of Christians beating you over the head with their Bibles? which, by the way, is just another socially constructed key phrase from Satan to make the people of God look silly. But fine. If I introduce you to Jesus and you say no thanks, I'm not going to stand there all day and waste my time with a knucklehead. That's God's job. He made you and your knuckleheadedness. He can fix you. As a saint, I'm moving on to the next guy. With the caveat and open invitation to the first guy, the knucklehead, that when the sun goes dark and the moon refuses to give her light, you just might want to reconsider my offer of Jesus. Every knee will bow. I don't even like praying in public anymore. Someone else is offering up their words of wisdom, whatever happens to be on their brain at that time. That's dangerous stuff. Matthew 6.6 6 says, When you pray, go in your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And how about this scripture? The, past, the, the pastor passage prior to the one I just read. I made a mistake and I'm not doing another take. Matthew 6.5 When you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. All right. See, we're all human. We all make mistakes. So in these tempestuous times, tremble those who are teamed tight together with the Holy Word of God. Keep an eye on the pulpit. Keep an eye on your pastor. The Methodists have already caved in and offered up their sheep to a junkless man who wears Prada and plays with his, her, z, whatever, playing with plastic playthings of perverted persuasion. So many are in error, the Methodists are making child molesting Catholics look good. So there you have it. The Catholics are all in on late term abortion and pedophilia. The Methodists are cool with a transgendered, whatever the pronoun is in the pulpit. I can barely wait until next Sunday. Enjoy church today, y'all. Watch yourselves, saints. It's an evil, evil realm. Peace, love, armored up. This fisherman is out.